Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a live example of something that you can do if you are still working with the data. Um, here, this is a different sheet, so you can see down here if you want to add a sheet, you can just click on this button. Once you're on an added sheet, you can really do whatever you want and it won't affect this sheet. Keep in mind that you have your own copies, so you really can do whatever you want to your copy. You can delete data that's in your way. Um, you can get rid of things that are interfering with what you're trying to do. So what I did here was I put some titles up here, and then I put the total number of students. There are many, many different ways to do these things. I just wanted to give one example because people seemed like they were a little bit struggling with what to do. So here I have the grade level. Um, this is the number of students who answered less than four hours, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And these are the totals. As I mentioned yesterday, there's this cool button over here called Explore. And you can click on the Explore button and it gives you all these different possibilities. So one possibility that looks like a potentially cool option um, is this pie chart and then there are a couple of the graphs but I think the graphs are going to fit better for what we are looking for. So I'm going to pick this one. To get it inserted you click on this insert button and now that I see it I'm not sure that I like it that much so I need I realize that I need to change a few things so I'm going to go into edit chart once I'm in the edit chart, um, first of all, I'm going to pick this style, a stacked column chart. Um, actually, I think I'm going to pick this one, mostly because I like it. It's a personal preference. <clears throat> and then I am going to tell it what data I want to include. So um, I'm going to scroll down here. Column A are going to be the headers. So that's going to get the grades out of there. Um, row one is being used as the labels and that's cool that's what I want you can see here that I have the grand totals but I don't want or need that so I'm going to eliminate that from the data sets and here where I'm going to this I'm going to change it from that to F um, or you might want to include the totals. I'm not really sure um, what you might be interested in doing. So once I have done that, um, sorry, I needed to get rid of those on. So over on the setup side, I'm going to make sure that the data range that I'm interested in is what it is here. And then you can see these are the cells. So this is A1. This is where the, that data is coming from. Then in addition to that, I want to set up some things so that it looks nice. Um, so one of the things that I can do is I could change the colors if I wanted to. I know some people have been using specific colors. I can change the chart title to how many hours of sleep do students get and that's going to make a much better looking title for my chart and then I have each of it broken up by grades which would end in a pretty good chart. Don't be afraid to move to different pieces of the spreadsheets.